Okay, very simply, sardines are one of our uh, baits that we use a lot of in winter time, June, July, August. I'm going to show you a throw bait that a throw bait trace that you can use to catch cob, garrick. Um, if you're fishing at night time, the, the, the doggers that come around. As you know, sardines are very, very soft baits to use. This is a very simple trace that has worked for me for many, many years. And very simply, cone sinker, little power swivel, about a meter in length, 25 kilo kingfisher nylon. Our number three barrel swivel. You don't have to go too fancy with this. I'm just taking one out of the packet there. Simple, 6-0, Kendall round. Lovely hook, been around for years, it works like a dream. Maybe you just want to sharpen them up, but most of them come very sharp these days. So there's a 6-0, 5 if you want, if the sardines are quite small like they were last year. And of course our kingfisher nylon. Very simply, what we do is we normally take about 25 kilo kingfisher nylon and we attach it like this, basically figure of eight. One, two, three times around form your figure of eight slide it down but not all the way down okay just a little bit leave a loop over there we then take um, what I call a wishbone I'm just going to get some thicker nylon quickly you can use anything you have some one mil kingfisher so basically we take a thick nylon or a harder nylon fluorocarbon if you want but that's just one mil. Stick it in behind the eye and pull your figure of eight tight. Here we go. <coughs> figure of eight tight. Cut off the tag end over there. We're gonna cut this down a little bit so just gonna do this quickly. So basically you can see the wishbone on either side. What this does, once I put it into the bait, it stops the bait, the hook, from turning into the bait. That's all it's going to do. Um, give yourself a little bit to work with here. Okay, what we do is measure the size of the bait that we're going to be throwing. Like I said last year, the, uh, the sardines that we got were very small. This year they're slightly bigger. And there's a, a lovely Natal sardine. I'm just going to do it this way, it's easier for me. And I'm just going to measure off where I want the swivel to end up sitting. So the swivel I need to sit about there. Okay, so what I'm going to do is, and unfortunately this takes a little, little bit of practice to get your spacing right. It doesn't matter if you make it a little bit longer, it just means there's more nylon bowing around it. So, I'm hoping I get the sizing right, which I think is perfectly on the money. Cut that a little bit off there. Now what we're going to do is take another piece of nylon, again 25 kilo. One, two, three times around, figure of eight. Nothing fancy, keep it simple like I always say. Slide it down. Pull tight. Cut off, make it about a meter in length. I'm just going to grab one of my little power swivels that I had lying around here. And again, just going to measure. There's my meter mark. One, two, oh, there goes my bead. Let's use my bead. You can if you want, and you get fresh ones, and you're going to fish the next day. Stick a bit of flotation inside the actual uh, mouth of the sardine before you freeze it. Let's just do the whole trace here. Okay, here we go. Sinker. Bead. Where's my bead? There we go. Through. Okay. 
And again, this is not a clipping bait, it's just a normal throw bait. Yeah, my trace is about right. Now what we're going to do is very simply, that part of it is going to lie next to the actual sardine and stop it from moving. You can if you want, and you want more flotation for some reason, add a little bit of foam to the top of that if you haven't already added the foam inside the mouth area. What you want to do, and it's very important, is come out in the hard part of the gill plate. And that'll be that area there that I'm trying to get to. So what I'm going to do, just take it in my hands, go in over there, as deep as I can, and come out without making too much damage to the actual sardine. So that's basically what I'm looking to try and do. Okay. This swivel, I'm going to lay next to it, over there. You see where I'm laying it? By the tail area. And I'm just going to bind it with a bit of latex cotton. And all we're going to do is just wrap the latex cotton around it like so. Roll it into the tail area. Like that. Just lightly wrap it around there, all the way up again. <clears throat> and there is a lovely throw bait sardine that you can throw for darga at night if you want to and you, the, the netters have netted in say for instance Ilovo, Carradine, go there that evening, go and throw a bait like this and you'll be surprised. You'll either catch a diamond skate or a skate family or you'll get a dogger or a GT. If you throw it at daytime and there's sardines around, chances are very good if the shad don't get you that you will get a garrick on it because this will float up and look like a sardine moving around, a wounded sardine. And the Garrick don't leave us alone. It's un unbelievable how many Garrick you catch on that little trace there. Especially when the sardines are around, guys. There we go.